a wide area network. So far so good? Now the one that's always people always forget is the man. Do you know what the man is? The man is a dish in most cases. And it's the metropolitan area network. San Jose, for instance, has a metropolitan area network where anywhere in the city you can get on wirelessly. That's part of the metropolitan area network. It's used with point-to-point -point and omnidirectional antennas, semi-directional antennas, okay? Access points, wireless. This is primarily a wireless product. Let's look now at the physical. When we discuss the physical, the first we're going to talk about is the bus. The bus was the first to come in to being, and it was primarily a mechanical configuration. Yes, it had the wires that went to it, but it was used as a mechanical operation. It's very specific. It's still application specific. There's still uses for it. For instance, can you think of a use? Intercom? No. How about how about assembly line? You don't want the next process to go until the process before it happened, right? But what they do now is they use bus logic. We don't wire them that way anymore because we have logic chips that that uh, discover for us. The obvious problem with this configuration is what? One disconnection. That's it. If this one goes out of service, that one's dead. Right? So the next thing in order to overcome this that they developed was the ring, otherwise known as the token ring. The ring configuration had at its core the server and the serve clients. That's how they were discussed in the day. The server and the clients still are in many cases. Now, they, it inherently has nearly the same problem, doesn't it? So what they developed was they could send the information this way and this way, the token ring. Now, better, but still very cumbersome and out of date by 30 years now. Okay? We don't use it anymore. We don't even use its logic anymore, for the most part. Lastly, what we're going to look at Because we have to know the origins of networks. Because it is in the book. 